So maybe just taking in a deep breath. If you're new, my name is Alex Mises. Welcome to the tribe. We meet every Monday and Friday. We practice, we meditate. So you're welcome, you're welcome here. So taking in a deep breath and just allowing any tension, any tightness to release on a long, long out breath. Mm -hmm. well, let's do that one more time. Taking in a deep breath. And long, long exhale. Bringing your attention to the body, checking in. Allowing yourself to fully arrive here. The body is always ahead of us. The body is already here. It already arrived. We just have to follow it. We can do that by bringing our attention to the way we're sitting. Noticing where we are in relationship to the room, to the space we're occupying. So just sensing through the body right now, those areas of contact with the chair, the seat. And just for a moment, let's allow the breath to flow normally, easily, without control and without Manipulating the breath in any way. The body doesn't need any help from us breathing. It breathes all on its own. And maybe you're noticing that there's still a lot in the mind from the moment before, whether it's work, the to-do list, planning for the day. All of that is okay. It's just, just turning towards it, noticing it, and seeing if you can just bring your attention to the body, the breath, what's here for you right now. Checking in. And today we're continuing exploring the world of communication. Learning from Gregory Kramer, Inside Dialogue. So the invitation for right now is, what if you could just drop everything right now? All the preconceived ideas about yourself. What if you didn't have to be anyone right now. What if we could just be without having to be anyone, but just being here with this body? And even in that, there could be self-identification. But really just sensing the presence of the body. 
allowing it to just fully rest in the moment without having to accomplish anything, without looking for an outcome. and turning all your attention towards the, towards the breath, the body breathing. What we're doing is just noticing if the breath is, is long or short, deep or shallow, really feeling the breath in the body. Maybe feeling the coolness of the air coming in, the warmth leaving the body. And just for this moment, let's leave it all behind. Let him be. Let him go. Without suppressing, without ignoring, But just being right here in this moment. Becoming this gentle observer of your experience. And if you encounter any tension in the body, just softening up around it. Maybe allowing the shoulders to drop, the jaw to release, gentle muscles of the face to let go. Nothing to do, no one to be, nowhere to go. Where does the mind go during the pause? Are you aware of that? Are you aware that the mind wanders? And can you maybe very kindly and lovingly, without judgment, score your attention right back to this body sitting or lying or standing here? 
really feeling through the body, sensing through the body. Allowing it to just really safely sink into the surface that's holding you. Fully supported by the earth. Cradled in this way. Feeling the pull of gravity keeping you here. Rooted to your seat, rooted to the surface. Once again and again, we keep coming back. And there's this coming home every time we come back. Every time a new arrival. As Rumi says, greeting everything with a smile. So every time you notice the mind wondering, the judgment. Just allowing yourself to come right back. Knowing that that's a natural function of the mind. If you're here and you're practicing, you're doing this perfectly. There's no right or wrong way of doing this.
Whenever you notice that the mind is taking you for a little ride, getting caught in the story, the narrative, the mind can be so seductive when it takes us away. So whenever you notice this as a mindful moment, And even if you can only keep your attention for a millisecond, that's okay. You're practicing. So there is a sense of kindness towards yourself and trust. You're doing it perfectly. Dropping all expectations, all needs for outcome. There's nothing to accomplish. There's no one that you need to be right now. You are already it. You are already complete. So just allowing yourself to be, becoming the observer of experience, noticing this ever-changing experience, ever-changing thoughts, ever-changing emotions, ever-changing physical sensations, noticing it all right here in this moment.
Now I invite you to ask yourself the question, what am I? What am I? And instead of answering right away or looking for answers from a conscious level, taking a deep breath and staying with that question. Just allowing the answers to come to you without looking for anything. And even if you don't get an answer right away, there is space on that. There is an answer on that. What am I? And perhaps that answer doesn't come to you as words, even better. Maybe it's just an energy that comes to you, a sensation in the body, an emotion. Feeling that answer deep in your heart. What am I? And so now tapping into your inner child imagination. I invite you to imagine that you're standing right across somebody that you know, somebody that's familiar, you're familiar with. You're about to have a conversation about something. Maybe something you like to discuss, maybe something that's coming up. And then just allowing yourself to settle into that moment, noticing, is there an agenda? Is there a goal for this conversation? Is 
something to prove, something to share, something to show. How much are you holding on to what you have to say? And is there a chance that maybe you can invite yourself to let go of that need? to work towards your goal of the conversation, to steer the conversation a certain way, to give your opinion, to be right, to prove something. Now I invite you to take in a deep breath and on a long exhale, just making a slight shift into that meeting. Once again, imagining this person right across from you who you're having a conversation with. And this time, just dropping all expectations. Dropping the agenda, dropping the goals, dropping any outcomes. And allowing yourself to just be. So Rumi, in his poem, The Essential, says, There is a community of spirit. Join it and feel the delight of walking in the noisy street and being the noise. Drink all your passion and be a disgrace. Close both eyes to see with the other eye. Close both eyes to see with the other eye. Open your hands if you want to be held. Sit down in the circle. Quit acting like a wolf and feel the shepherd's love filling you. At night, your beloved wonders. Don't accept consolations. Close your mouth against food. Taste the lover's mouth in yours. You moaned, she left me. He left me. Twenty more will come. Be empty of worrying. Think of who created thought. Why do you stay in the prison when the door is so wide open? Move outside the tangle of fear thinking. Live in silence. 
flow down and down in always widening rings of being. Sorry, flow down and down in always widening rings of being, expanding. So I invite you to drop the burden of having to control things right now. Just drop it. Just notice the urge of this need for control. And let it go. Let it be. So in our communication, a pause calls for mindfulness. Gregory Kramer says, relax, tranquility, and acceptance, open relational availability and spaciousness. And today we're visiting trust emergence or trust attunement, flexibility and letting go. The invitation is to verify the thoughts that rise from memories, sensations, and emotions. Mostly when we're in the presence of one another, when we're engaged in relationship. And can we enter the moment without a goal? seeing things exactly as they are, unstable and far more complex and fluid than any glance can ever know. This is to let go into the changing process that we call now replete with these uncontrolled sensations, thoughts, emotions, interactions, words, topics, energies, and insights. To trust emergence is to enter practice without the bias of a goal, to be oneself. So there goes again to that question, what am I? Thich Nahan in his poem, Interrelationship, says, you are me and I am you. Isn't it obvious that we're inter-are? You cultivate the flower in yourself so that I will be beautiful. I transform the garbage in myself so that you will not have to suffer. I support you. You support me. I am in this world to offer you peace. You are in this world to bring me joy. Those are the words of Thich Nhat Hanh. And so maybe just taking a deep breath, coming back to this moment, and noticing what's present for you right now. 
trust in emergence speaks of really attuning to what's here, recognizing it as an ever-changing cycle. There's no holding on to something that is fleeing. It's fleeting from the moment. Even in a conversation, the words are not here to stay forever. But how about approaching a conversation with a sense of being? And tune in to what is my agenda when I engage in conversation? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to prove? So I thank you for this practice. I thank you for being here and for doing this work.